I'm here from Franklin High School in Massachusetts, where today the North Andover Scarlet Knights made history. On top of star pitcher Sebastian Keen being drafted by the Red Sox in the 11th round of the Major League Baseball draft, they also beat the Franklin Panthers 5-3, becoming the first number eight seed to knock off the top seed in the current Baseball Super 8 format. The call is ruled better interference, and Jake McElroy and the Knights pull off the biggest upset in recent MIAA Super 8 history, knocking off the defending Super 8 champion, Franklin Panthers. I, I'm I, <laughs> short on words. You know, we've been close to kind of getting in, and uh, we're grateful to be here. You know, our objective every year is to get into this thing, you know, and do well and see where the cards uh, may go. While recording the save in the ninth, McElroy was the catalyst behind the plate for the Knights cranking a shot into right field in the fifth inning to drive in three runs and give the Knights a lead they never lost. Uh, I was just trying to put something in the opposite field because I was pulling off of everything and I was trying to drive it the other way and I got a good pitch to do so and I, I pulled through. The main story of the day, however, was on the pitcher and newest Red Sox draftee Sebastian Keene. With hundreds of eyes on him, including members of the Boston media and spectators looking to get a glimpse of the potential future major leaguer, Keene shined going seven and a third innings with nine strikeouts, including striking out five of the first six outs he recorded. Today, I just like, because the draft has been happening the past few days and I've been so stressed out with everything, and like today I finally got the call before the game. I seemed like everything just like settled down for me. I, I was literally the most excited I've ever been to pitch. With a Super 8 win now under his belt, Keen's impressive resume continues to be bolstered, and he'll face a tough decision in the near future to sign with the Red Sox or elect to pitch at Northeastern. Whatever his decision may be, Keen, his teammates and coaches have some time to celebrate Keen's achievement and his legacy for the program moving forward. When I got the call, I, st I stopped smiling. I started smiling for two hours straight. Like, I've been working my ass off my whole life to get drafted, play an MLB, and that's it's just a great feeling. It just like it just felt so amazing. It's a good example for some of the younger players in the program to see where work ethic will get you because he's worked harder than any player we've ever had. Um, in the history of North Andover baseball. Now Keen is the second North Andover player who played under head coach Todd Doolin to be drafted into the major leagues, only after Mike Hasham, who was selected by the Atlanta Braves in the 2011 draft. Now also, despite being a hometown selection, Keen grew up rooting for the Yankees, but he assured me that he will be happy to cheer for and welcome the Red Sox with full arms. Now after what surely was an emotional day for the Knights and Keen, they have a couple days of rest off before Saturday, where they will take on the winner of BC High and Lowell. From Franklin High School in Massachusetts, I'm Sam Murray.